Very good morning to all the students of PUC Second Year Art, Science and Commerce. I am Muhammad Gulam Rabbani from Department of English, working at Nehru Arts, Science and Commerce College, Kantikeri Hubli. My dear students, before commencing the topic, let me tell you some important things. Let me suggest to you that now you don't have time, hardly four to five months. So you must focus on your studies instead of wasting your time, collect notes, read, write, see the videos which I have sent to your groups and go through and note down the notes that I am sending and I have sent also and I will send too. Note down and if you have any kind of difficulties, any kind of doubts, you can clarify your doubts by asking questions and send the questions through WhatsApp or you can contact me as well. Your questions will be welcomed by me. Now you must be studious and you don't have time. So You might be witnessed that some of the students are very, very diligent, very, very hardworking, always stuck with their books, yet they are not scoring well. Why? What may be the causes and the reasons? One of the reasons may be that he or she does not work properly or technically. So, scoring in the examination, it acquires special technique and you have to process the technique so that you can score well. One of the techniques may be solving question paper and I have already solved the question paper there are two videos and the links of the videos have been sent to your groups. And again, I will send you. And some other classes, in some other classes, I will talk on techniques and how to write in the examination and how to score well in the examination. My dear students, I have already sent to you the videos and notes of two chapters, that is two dear, written by Liu Tolstoy, and another was On Children, written by Khalil Gibran. So you go through them, read, write and listen properly. If you will have any kind of doubt, you can contact me without any hesitation. Now, the topic is Romeo and Juliet. It is a wonderful play created by or written by William Shakespeare. My dear students, it is a long play or drama, but for second year students, only two stanzas are prescribed. In first stanza, it is the feeling and emotions of Romeo for Juliet. And in second stanza, you can witness that it is the feeling and emotion of Juliet 
for Romeo. So in second stanza you can find the expression of Juliet for Romeo, the love and affection of uh, Juliet for Romeo. But in your next class, next video, I will highlight those two stanzas. One thing I would like to share that any lesson or any chapter must be divided into two parts while we are making videos. Because in one part you cannot understand, it consumes data and it is difficult to upload or da download also. That's why I would like to divide it into two parts. In first part, that would be introductory part of the lesson. So the title is Romeo and Juliet. Today I would like to highlight some important points so that these points will help you in understanding the play or the drama. So as you know that it is written by William Shakespeare, the great writer of his time and of all times I can say. This great soul was born in the year 1564 and breathed his last means he died in the year 1616. One thing I would like to share to you people that whenever you are going to write for four marks answer, you have to write a few sentences about the writer too or the author or the poet too so that it will beautify the answer. And when it will beautify the answer, the examiner after reading few sentences of your answer will be fascinated, will be pleased, will be happy and lavishly. Lavishly means wholeheartedly he will give, give you marks. So do not forget to write a few sentences about the writer. Here the writer is William Shakespeare. He has written 37 dramas and 154 sonnets. Sonnet is nothing but it is a form of poetry consisting of 40 lines. But this is a play, a wonderful play classical, legendary love story that is Romeo and Juliet composed by, written by William Shakespeare. Let me highlight some points and later on I will highlight the two stanzas. I will explain those two stanzas in your next video and for your Understanding, I would like to highlight some points so that it will be easy to understand. These two stanzas extracted from the famous Shakespearean play Romeo and Juliet. So there are two stanzas taken from extracted means taken from a play by name Romeo and Juliet. The second point is that it is the classical love story of two legendary figures, that is Romeo and Juliet. So this is a classical love story of two great lovers who are example of the new generation because their love was true. Later on when I will explain the stanzas you will continue. They belong to the rival families. Romeo and Juliet, they belong to the rival families, enemy families, and Romeo belonged to Montagus, and Juliet belonged 
to capulets. These two lovers or beloved or couple that is Romeo and Juliet, unfortunately they belong to the rival families, enemy families and they were staunch enemies. Who were staunch, staunch enemies? That is Montagu's family and Capulet's family. So Capulet hosted a grand supper, supper and invited all the people of Verona, but Romeo was uninvited. So one fine day, Lord Capulet, father of Juliet, invited almost all the people of the city, that is Verona, which is situated in Italy. So this man, he invited almost all the people except one family, that is Romeo's family, that is Montagu's. Why he did not invite, you know the reasons? The reason is that there was enmity between them and they were staunch enemies. They were foes, foe, F-O-E, foe. They were not friends. That's, that's why Lord Capulet did not invite Romeo and his father. Though they were belonging to the noble families, royal families, great families, but there was enmity. That was the reason that he did not invite Romeo. So when Romeo was uninvited, he still, still he wanted to attend the party. That is dinner party or you can say supper party. Why? There must be reason. The reason behind attending the party is Romeo disguised and attended the party to see Rosalind, who was a charming personality. So Romeo, he disguised himself. He changed his attire, his dressing sense, so that nobody can recognize and identify. And in his disguise, he went to the palace of uh, Capulet, where he hosted the supper party for the people of Verona. Why he took all the risk? Because he wanted to see a glimpse of a lady by name Rosaline. She was also living in that city, that is Verona. She was also very beautiful. She was so attractive. She was so fascinating that everybody wanted to have a glance or have a glimpse of her. Everybody wants to see her charming personality. So Romeo also wanted to see. When he heard that Rosalind was invited by Capulet, he wanted to see Rosalind and that's why he took all the risk and he disguised himself and went to the palace of uh, Capulet. Romeo sees Juliet on the dance floor and attracted. So when he visited to the palace, there were audience in the hall and there was a stage on the stage. A beautiful, fascinating face or fascinating girl, charming girl, a graceful girl was performing dance. The girl was not only charming and graceful, the dance was more charming, more graceful than the lady, than the performer. He didn't know about the lady, who the lady was, who was performing dance on the stage. She was so beautiful that for the first sight only, in first glimpse only, Romeo fell in love. And he was watching, watching and watching the lady. He was totally involved in her dance. 
he did not notice the audience neither he thought about having dinner though the dance was over the girl was not on the stage still he was watching that place in his imagination he was watching the girl and the dance in reality there was no dance no girl because she went out from the stage she descended from the stage she went for a dinner yet he was standing watching in his imagination because in imagination man can go to the hell and the heaven go to the moon and the sky and in this man romeo in his imagination he was watching the dance of the lady and later on when he realized that there is no girl there is no person who is performing dance he wanted to know about the girl he asked one of the audience about the lady about the performer about the dancer and when he came to know that the dancer was none other than the daughter of lord capulet he was shocked and he was disappointed that for the first time in his life he saw a beautiful girl and he fell in love and it was a true love for him but unfortunately she was a daughter of enemy family he was he was disappointed but at the same time the lady also noticed him while he was standing he was also from a noble family from a royal family when the performer was performing on the stage she noticed the man the young man that is romeo and she also fell in love with uh, romeo there was a prodigious birth of love in the heart of uh, juliet too and later on she came to know that romeo was a man from the enemy family so later on i would like to tell you people the story that they committed suicide at the end by thinking that they cannot be successful in their lives they committed suicide thinking that in other world in divine world they will mingle they will meet and they will be successful that is another story it is not mentioned in your text only two stanzas are prescribed in first stanza it is the expression it is the feelings of romeo for juliet in second stanza it is the feelings and emotions of juliet for romeo the whole story is not uh, narrated whatever i narrated it is the background of the story but one thing i would like to suggest that what is true love that he said that he was in true love true love will always show the right path to the beloved to the lovers who will never commit any mistakes in his or her life who will be inspired by seeing the beloved and wanted to achieve his target his goal and that is true love according to me dear students in your next video i will highlight two stanzas i will explain two stanzas so let me stop for the day i will continue to the next class stay tuned for the next video thank you have a nice day